We're just a couple days in now to the spring. Just overall, how do you feel like the chemistry is with this group going through the fall with these guys and now a couple days this spring? Well, we're so senior laden. You know, we got 18 returning guys, and a lot of those guys are seniors. And um, they've just we picked up right where we left off in the fall, and um, I think they're focused and ready to go. Um, you know, there's been some unforeseen circumstances with the, the weather and stuff like that, and our guys haven't batted an eye. They haven't backed down from anybody uh, or any circumstance that we, myself, or the coaches have put them in. So really excited about uh, where that's going and, um, you know, looking forward to inter-squadding this week and getting ready for SEMO in, in two weeks. You know, you look at your pitching staff, so senior laden, like you said, especially you have experienced the rotation with Ty and Caleb, and then even beyond that, uh, to have Connor and, and Land Longsworth in the bullpen, just how much does that help bring in the new guys and, and maybe learn what it's like to play at the Division One level? Yeah, last year there was a lot of uncertainties with it all and defining roles and things like that, and you know, you, you're kind of going through the first 15, 20 games, and you think Ty Barnes is going to be your reliever, and all of a sudden he becomes your starter, and um, we had some other you know situ situations since it happened like that but uh, you know we've got some guys back like Brock Figueroa who pitched for us early before injury and then we've got a kid named Cam Barlow that uh, was a part of our team all last year just redshirted because he was hurt so they, they've been here they've got a year under their belt but um, at the same time they you know they're still kind of new to the game so to speak for us. Just how key for this team was it for those returners to get a taste of the conference tournament make a run and, and see what it takes to get there and win it all? It was huge. Um, it was big, probably for the biggest part was for, for me and my coaches, all the stuff that we were talking about and trying to lay the, the map out for them. You know, like I told them last year, we didn't know how we were going to get there. You know, we weren't necessarily going to get on the highway and just put it on cruise control. We had to go down some dirt lane roads and some one lane. Um, but, you know, this year I think we have a little bit better idea how to stay at least on some pavement and, um, you know, to, to find a way to understand how we have to win three game series and what, what it takes to win some of those early games so you don't put so much pressure on yourself at the end of the year, you know, trying to back yourself into it. What's the one thing so far that stands out about this team, the 2020 group? I think the chemistry has been really good. Um, you know, you just spoke to a couple of our seniors that I think are, are tremendous leaders for us. And there's a couple other guys that weren't over here that you haven't talked to just yet. Um, but they've worked so hard. And, and I, a lot of that credit goes to Mike Gardner, our strength coach, who, who really got it going in August. You know, he's the first one that really gets his hands on our players. And he has set the tone in there and the work ethic that, that, that they've demonstrated. Um, and our players have just followed him. Ryan, senior season and uh, come in as one of the leaders on this team. What's it mean to take on a leadership role for this group for you? I mean, it's an honor. Uh, you know, just happy to be around these guys every day. Um, be a part of this team with uh, Coach Fay, Coach Carlson, Belange, and Collins. You know, great, great group of guys out here. They make it easy to be a leader, honestly. Um, they take care of their business, very mature group. So. You know, this team, you have so many uh, great mix of returners and, and newcomers, but does that kind of help you guys as far as the fall and everything, building a chemistry with what is a new team from a year ago? Yeah, it does for sure. You know, um, I was actually just talking about that earlier. Um, you know, having a couple of freshmen in here that um, really know how to compete and are mature for their age and, uh, you know, have pushed some of the older guys on the team to, to get better in the offseason, and that makes us better as a whole, so. At this point in the spring, I know it's still early for you guys, just how much of it is about getting that chemistry down as a, as a lineup, as a unit in the field defensively, just how much of that is just about coming together right now? Yeah, and that's the whole point of doing like inter squads and stuff like that early on in the season is get that offensive flow, stuff like that, um, understanding on the, from the pitching side of things, uh, starters, you know, who's going to be our bullpen guys, who's going to be our late inning guys, you know, who can close the door, who can get that big strikeout for us, you know. Um, so, yeah, it's just been all about finding that kind of that rhythm and that role for us. To go on the run you guys did in the Sun Belt Conference Tournament last year, get to the semifinals, do you guys draw confidence from that to move into this season and build off of that? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of confidence in, in knowing what it's all about now, but also, you know, it's, it's started to become an expectation for us. Um, you know, we expect to be there this year. We expect to be in the same position as last year, and but we expect a different outcome as well. What in particular did you learn last season that you can apply this year? I think a lot of it was just maturing as a as an individual, as a hitter, um, from that side of things, and then as a team, just how much it means to be to be strong on the mound defensively, and offensively in that, in those late innings. You know how fast that game can change on you. So I think that we we put a lot of emphasis on that in the off season, and uh, physically and mentally we'll be we'll be prepared for that. What's the one thing that stands out about this group early on? We're tough. We're a tough group of guys. Um, you know, they're JUCO boys, a lot of them. But even the high school guys, they're tough. Uh, you see it in the weight room. You know, you see it on the field every day. Um, they want to be here. They want to compete. Um, 
and they're not afraid to, to do whatever it takes to win. Connor, coming into your senior season, uh, first of all, what is it maybe about this group so far that, that you've noticed that stands out about the 2020 team? Um, I'd say this group is very fast. We're athletic, uh, both on the mound and in the field. So, um, you know, one of the big concerns last year was replacing the big bats, you know, Tinglestad and Chad Bell. But uh, we watch batting practice every day, and it's it hurts my neck watching all the balls fly over the wall. So, I mean, I, I think that we've done a good job, or the coaches have done a great job recruiting, uh, you know, to replace those big bats and, and you know, help generate offense. So... It seems like last year is a lot of new pitchers anyway. You guys kind of gelling, finding your roles in the rotation, in the bullpen, whatever it may be. There's a lot of returners there this year. Does that maybe help you guys get a little chemistry and, and kind of have a little insight as to what your role might be on this team? Definitely. I think, uh, you know, as far as returners, myself, Landon Longsworth, um, you know, uh, Dylan Marsh will be back, some other, you know, big arms. And I think – our second time through, you know, the season through conference play, we've matured. We kind of know what to expect uh, from a pitching standpoint, what hitters are looking for, what some guys who are returning into other programs are, are going to do with certain pitches and, you know, uh, just how to mentally and physically prepare ourselves for the mound and then passing that on to the younger guys that are, this is their first time through the conference. So, uh, you know, just kind of imparting what we learned on them to help them have success throughout the year. To go on the run this team did a year ago to get to the semifinals in the tournament, do you sense some building confidence from that, building upon what you guys did at the end of last season? Yes, sir. Uh, like like Ryan said, I think it's it's an expectation that's drilled into us from our coaching staff. They that's they want that to be the the baseline thing for this program, and and I think that they do a great job of preparing us for it. Uh, it's all about you know how we gel and how we come out and play and play the way that we need to play and that's fast and hard and and win the games that we need to win and uh, we should find ourselves in a, in a good position to be in that conference tournament and then move on past that conference tournament so it's definitely uh, just a means to an end but that's it's becoming the standard to, to get there and, and succeed at, the, at that level. As far as this uh, bullpen group, the pitching staff, what's one thing that fans are going to notice about this group if they come out that opening weekend and this early part of the season? Um, I think fans are going to notice that that we throw a lot of strikes. We fill up fill up the strike zone. Uh, got a lot of guys that can mix in a lot of different pitches. So it's it's not as I would say diverse as it was last year as far as arm angles and lefty righties go. But I I think we got a lot of guys that are going to pound the zone. They're going to for, force early contact. Uh, you know, a lot of one, two, three innings, which it makes it more enjoyable for the fans because the games are going faster. And as a bullpen guy, it makes it way more enjoyable for me because I'm not sitting there, you know, four or five hours. But I think uh, we can fill up the zone and, and be effective with mixing up off speed and, and fastballs. Off the field, what's the chemistry like for this group as a team so far now you guys have had a fall together and got going here in the spring? Definitely. Uh, I mean, it's a good group of guys. we got a bunch of goofballs on the team, and uh, we all hang out off the field and, and, and have a good time for sure. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. No comment. <laughs> well, Andrew, you come into this season. You're one of the guys who was honored as an all-conference guy a year ago. Do you take confidence from, from what happened a year ago and, and things you learned a year ago going through the Sun Belt yeah, slate? You know, you know, it brings you confidence and stuff, but this is a new year, and I mean, you got to do it again. There's Last year's over with, so got to come back out and be better this year. To be one of the senior leaders offensively for this team, how have you embraced that role? You know, just kind of keeping the same mentality I had last year, just being an aggressive hitter and just kind of teaching these younger guys some of the things that I learned last year from, you know, the Chad Bells and the Tingle Stats and people like that. You know, to lose a couple guys like that in the lineup, what have you seen this fall from and early on this spring to maybe replace that, or how is this offense going to look maybe compared to how it looked a year ago? Well, I mean, it's hard to replace those two guys. You know, they were so good at everything they did. But, I mean, we got guys coming in that can easily do that. I mean, it's hard to hit 21 home runs in a season, but – you know, we got guys that can play and, you know, hit, and they, we'll see what happens, but I got confidence in them. How is the confidence level of this group, especially the returners, where you guys reached the tournament last year, made that run in, in uh, Conway? Just what's that confidence level to try to build off of that? I mean, we all got confidence because we saw that we could do it last year, and we have some studs this year that are coming in to replace some of the guys, and, you know, we're all competing every day, and I just like what I see every day. We got a bunch of hard workers. What's the chemistry of this lineup and you guys defensively here so far? We're, we're working on it. I mean, I feel like we're very good 
as far as chemistry and knowing what we're supposed to do as a team, you know, we got guys that can run, got guys that can hit the ball out of the park, and we know what our role is, and that's that's a positive thing, I guess. <laughs> Overall, how's this? How's the newcomers and the returners? How's everybody gelling together? I mean, it feels like we've been playing for our whole lives together so far. I mean, we all have got along. We got good chemistry and seem to get along pretty well. What's the one thing that maybe stands out about this team in particular, the 2020 group? We're grinders. Just a bunch of JUCO boys. Well, Ty, you come into this season after stepping into the rotation midway through the year a year ago. Just what's your confidence level at after you took over and really turned in a couple great performances too down the stretch for this team? Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna take you know take my performances last year and into this season. You know the bads and and the goods. Um, you know and really really buckle down and, and work on the bads. You know and. Um, also, Trey Jeans taught me a lot of what to do and what not to do, how to get, how to prepare for games, and that's really going to help me out this year. As far as being a senior and a leader, it seemed like Trey took that role on really well with that staff last year. Do you kind of look at maybe yourself in that kind of role this year? Yeah, I can see myself as that role with what Trey Jeans had last year. He was, you know, he was a, more of a quiet guy, but he led as, you know, his play on the field. You know, he that's just how he, you know, was a leader, and you know, I'm kind of like that, not really. Um, outspoken person, but you know, I, I feel like I'm the same as Trey Jeans. As far as this rotation goes, uh, I mean, you were in there last year. Caleb Sanderson was there a year ago. Just uh, how does that all come together? Is how are you guys finding your roles anyway so far this spring? Right. Yeah. I mean, we're you know all this rain and you know we're trying to figure it out. But yeah, we got a few guys JUCO transfers. You know, we got a great pitching staff this year. Even a couple of freshmen are going to come up big for us this year. I feel like you know, and we're going to see. You know, we're going to have a few more in the squads and we'll practice more bullpens and we're just going to find out who's you know what role is. What, who's going to play? As far as uh, this team in particular, what is it that stands out? Maybe what's the one thing fans are going to notice about this team right away? That we do come together as a team. We, um, we on and off the field, we're together. Um, uh, we communicate well. We, we vibe as a team. And I feel like that's what's going to help us win ball games this year. As far as building off the way you guys finished last season, how key is that to 2020 and, and taking what you did late in the season, especially at the conference tournament? Yeah, absolutely. You know, getting a taste of that conference tournament, you know, just seeing what it's like, it's, it's going to show you what you have to do in the regular season to get there. You know, you have to win the Sunday games and, and, and all that, the double headers if we have to with the rainouts. And, you know, it, it's, it's tough, but, you know, you're going to have to make it work.